Hi friends! I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I hope you have a wonderful day. Today, oh, okay, I built this a while ago and we're finally getting to posting the video. Uh, the voiceover is a little bit long, so I've been a little intimidated to record this, um, but we are finally getting around to it now, today, um, and I really hope that you like this one. It is a bit of a longer video, like I said, um, so, you know, get a drink, snuggle in, and let's, let's do this. Today we're building a set of tiny Japanese apartments. There are six apartments in this building and then there's also a convenience store on this lot and I think that it turned out really really pretty and really realistic and I really love it very much. So I hope that you will too. Um, I'm not sure which thumbnail I'm gonna be using so hopefully the thumbnail came out okay. I have a couple different versions of the thumbnail and I'm just not sure what I'm going to call this yet because I don't know how to put tiny Japanese apartments and convenience store but make it not that long. <laughs> it's kind of a long title but that's what we're building so I hope that you enjoy this and let's get into it. So over here is going to be the convenience store and then you see that we very quickly came up with the apartments on the left side and in case you don't know when before I start recording a build usually I will kind of draw the shell to make sure that I'm satisfied with what I'm doing but I didn't do that with this one I don't think. I think I just started in and just built it but today is the 15th and I recorded this on the 27th so it's been a little while because um, like I said I was a little intimidated by the length of the video which is ridiculous because I've made you know videos this length before but this is also a style that I haven't really built in on the channel yet and I really wanted to get this right and I really wanted it to be realistic but also just good you know and I wasn't sure how to do that so here we are mapping out the yards that is not the shape of that yard on the left side it will be smaller but um, I was trying to figure out what kind of walls I wanted um, and I was using a few reference pictures for this build and that's kind of why I was kind of messing around a little bit with what to put here and I do realize that I did not add railings to the stairs but there are railings in the screenshots um, I added them off camera but um, so uh, yeah and also another thing you'll note is I do do a bunch of terrain paint um, on video but of course it got deleted when I went to take the screenshots so I had to redo it so it'll look very different but I think it looks better now in the second rendition of it. But this is the convenience store we're starting on. We do get a little one by three bathroom off the back. I'm so sorry, I had to cut to yawn. Um, and so this will end up having a bunch of vending machines outside and like a little parking lot with a car and um, some bicycles, um, some bikes on a little concrete area. And I really love the way this came out. I think that it looks really, really... Why do I keep yawning? I think it looks realistic. I did some research and tried to make it look like just your corner... You know, if we were in... If this was in New York, we'd call it a bodega. But I think in Japanese they call it a... Konbini? Kon, konbini. Konbini? Um, obviously, I don't... I'm <laughs> not fluent in Japanese. I don't really speak Japanese very well, um, but that is what my research said they call them. Um, it's just a convenience store, you know, that you would just have that you could just go by um, to get a couple things. Um, if you're in America, it might be like a 7-Eleven or something. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. Or, you know, a bodega or something. Um, but it is a little convenience store. It's got um, some coolers for food. It has, I think we end up with like a little bakery case. This is not the layout that we end up with and this is not all the items we end up with. I'm not sure why I keep yawning. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not even like sleepy. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know why I keep yawning. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but this is a very long voiceover and I don't want to keep redoing it because I yawn so we're just gonna keep going <laughs> 
but this is the counter space we get a register and we get some bakery um, items up here and a little stool and we get some chair like a chair to sit in if you have to like sit down or something um, and then we get another door over here out to where the vending machines are going to be and I really like the way that that area turns out and I will mention I don't think we jump around too much um, but we do kind of go back outside and work on the exterior a little bit and then go back inside um, and also my reference pictures for the convenience stores they had like pipes and um, things on the outside of the building so that's what that is uh, but here we are working a little bit on the apartment god count how many times I have to pause to yawn um, and there ends up being six apartments and they are very very tiny um, they are just a single bed um, like a one tile bed and they have a two tile bathroom with a toilet and a uh, shower in it and then you can use the sink in the kitchen because the kitchen is right outside the bathroom door and they are all decorated I really probably should have split this video into two videos and done like a couple of the apartments as like apartment builds um on another video but I it just didn't work out that way um so it is all one video um and I should have left one apartment empty so you could have just the basics in it and then place your own items if you wanted your sim to live here but I didn't think about that till I'd already decorated all of the apartments so they are all decorated and we will get into those in a little bit and I will tell you a little bit about um the storyline and kind of like um the ideas I had for these sims living in these apartments uh, but these are the shape and the floor plan of the apartments although we do put up the backs of the apartments the bedroom spaces up on a one tile platform I thought that that was realistic and I thought it looked really good and kind of broke up the space a little bit um, so we do that and then now we're working on the outside a little bit and like I said I do add the matching railing to the stairs that matches this fence up here um, but that will be in the screenshots um, and uh, yeah so another thing that I forgot was to add clutter on two of the nightstands um, so two of the apartments you won't see me clutter the nightstands but they are cluttered in the screenshots um, and there are so many screenshots and I really hope that you like them uh, and yeah I'm not really sure what else to say about the build right now because we're kind of slowly getting into different areas of it and I'm not really sure what comes next because I did record this a couple weeks ago but um oh ooh, I didn't cut out that I did, ooh, okay I didn't cut that out normally I cut that kind of thing out I guess I just forgot but here is the little bathroom for the convenience store and I do move those I think onto the wall right here to the right um and then we get a mirror and I think we get a piece of clutter above the toilet but maybe we don't because it's just a convenience store bathroom you know it's just for the employees and then you know if someone really has to go they can go <laughs> I'm not really sure what the laws are in Japan about public bathrooms but uh, in America in Texas uh, we don't have um, really rules about it you don't have to let the public use your bathroom if you don't want to um, but you kind of have to have like a sign on the door that says no public bathrooms so they know um, but yeah, so this is the little chair that I got. I thought it was really cute. And then I changed up this over here and I guess I cut it out. But we have this counter, um, like tea produce area that looks like it also sells like coffee and stuff um, from the high school years pack. It's used for the boba tea shop, I think, but I used it here. And then we put a bunch of fruit in the counters and I did decorate a little bit on the um, interior uh like refrigerator areas but here we are working on the outside getting all of the um what are these called vending machines and i love this little sign and here is the spot where we're going to put some bicycles um i don't know why i keep saying bicycles instead of bike i'm not really sure but, <laughs> but i do and then we do keep this fish thing um i'm not really sure what this is called let me know if you know down below what the fish kite wind thing is called i don't remember we do move that in front of the apartments, but now we are moving into the apartments and kind of trying to figure out what counters we're going to use. I'm not really sure if these are the ones I end up using. 
they might be because they kind of matched my inspo pictures and they kind of matched like all the wood tones I was trying to make all the wood tones match uh, we do get a mini fridge because we needed it for uh, to put an oven on top of because we didn't have enough counters to do ovens and um, a fridge and a sink so we kind of do tiny house rules <laughs> And here I am kind of like messing around a little bit. I thought I cut most of that out, but I guess I did not. But I was alt placing the things so that the fridge fridges didn't look so odd. Uh, but see, I moved that over a little bit. And now I think we're going to work on this first apartment, which I think is the plant lover apartment. So we get the plant wall and a bunch of plants. Um, we get the like Monstera leaf wallpaper in here. Um, and a little desk and we get I think a bookcase that you probably won't be able to use at the foot of the bed because it looked nice and yeah I just tried to make all of these apartments look different and have their own personalities kind of like you would when you build like dorms or um, like uh, like regular apartments in the Sims you kind of build them for different personalities and different people and this one ends up being I think this is the one that ends up being for a plant lover and they have some gardening pots outside and I feel like this sim is the one that uses them and uh, really keeps up with the the garden I feel like it's a community garden for the entire apartment um, and I feel like they are in charge of it like they started it they're in charge of it um, and I really like that and I used a yoga mat as a rug in here so that you could have a skill in this room I tried to put a few skills on this lot in different apartments or outside and I think that it works really well and it looks really cute and has a bunch of things you can do and then here's that Monstera wall and we added in these different kinds of green curtains and then these curtains and then I feel like we get some kind of shelf in the kitchen maybe um, and the camera, I will apologize, the camera is a little bit wonky sometimes because it is such a tight space that the camera just kind of does its own thing occasionally and I know that that can be a little nauseating. I tried to cut out a bunch of it, but some of it was just, it still would have been jarring to cut it out because it would have been like back and forth being cut. So, you know, just, I'm so sorry and bear with the camera. I promise it's worth it. I really love this build and I really love all the different personalities and all of the details I add to the exterior of the build. Uh, we get some like towels on the railings to look like clothes hanging. And I really think that it looks really realistic and it was re really true to my, um, inspiration photos. They had a lot of that in those photos. Um, and yeah, I really hope that you like this. And now we're getting some decor over here because I felt like this corner was just kind of empty and I wanted more plants. So obviously I added a plant. I think we get the, yeah, we get a cutting board here to kind of take up some of the space. And then we add a plant in the bathroom. And I think that that's about it for this apartment. And then we're going to move on to the next one, but I don't remember really the personality of the next one. I'm trying to think off the top of my head what this one is going to be. I think I change out this bed. Yeah, I do. I pick a different bed and then I think, oh, we're going with some more greens in here um, and because I wanted to use this swatch of this bed. I thought it was really pretty and I don't think I've ever used it before. So I'm not really sure what this sim likes. Um, with the, with, ooh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they get like a TV and like a single seat dining table and yo, yo I meant to say oh and I said yo <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> they are an artist they get an easel and like a this little painting area and I think that I should have added the digitalistic sketch pad to this apartment but I did not and I kind of think that they maybe could have had that in here somewhere like maybe on the nightstand or on the dining table um I did struggle for a minute which with which of those wallpapers to use but we go with this one I think it really brings in the tone from the um, folded over part of the bedding and mixes the like colors in here a little bit and I thought it looked really really pretty um, so that's what we do and then here we are getting a TV like a little TV table I do struggle for a minute with what to put the TV on but I knew I wanted a TV and a chair here um, so I do struggle for a minute but it does work out in the end I'm not really sure 
what I end up using. I think maybe I end up, yeah, I end up using the matching nightstand to the bed and dresser. And then I thought that this had the right tones of wood and green on it. So we end up using this chair and it's just a single chair because it's just a single sim in here. Uh, and then they get a little dining space. I think that they use this as like a um, art space and a dining space and a um, like study space because maybe they're an art student. Um, so they, yeah, that's what I thought here. And then kind of struggling to see if I wanted to put a rug in here or not. And I do. And then now we are putting up some shelves and stuff in these other apartments and because the apartments on the the two right side apartments so like the middle and then the right side don't have a window in the kitchen I could add these cabinets so they have some space but the cabinets didn't really fit in the left side apartments because of the window in the kitchen uh, but the other ones the center ones don't have that so we added some uh, cabinets instead and oh I don't know what I was trying to say there but I think that it works really nicely and it looks really good um and then we get this uh like white uh, chalkboard above the um dresser and I think that maybe they put their class schedule up there and keep up with their like classes or maybe their commissions if they're not in class and they're doing art as a job so maybe they write all that up there and then we decorate this little nightstand and then add some stuff to the walls and I think that that's about it for this apartment here's the um, little walls and then the little candle on the table and now we're on to this one which is going to be for a musician and I do think that this sim and then the sim that is on the top left apartment that we're doing next I think um, our best friends. I think that they befriended each other through living here um, because the other one wants to be a pop star and I think that they are probably like best friends and maybe this sim uh, writes the music for the pop star and maybe they write it together. Um, I think that that is a really cute storyline and I really love it. So we are using this bed from the little campers kit I believe and then we use a cutting board as like a headboard I thought that looked kind of cool um, if I had tool I would have rotated around rotated it around so that it didn't have the cut marks on it but I think that it's okay and then we use this wallpaper from high school years I think because I thought that it really brought in the colors and really gave me that blue and that purple that were in the bed really really nicely so we add a mirror and then I think we get a couch over here and some more decor that matches the colors um, and I kind of do a lot of this decorating from an overhead point of view occasionally because if you don't know when you're in build mode you can press T to get an overhead view of the lot so it would kind of like when you're watching a speed build if you watch the screenshots and you see the floor plan screenshots that's usually what we do is we press T so we can get an overhead view um, and so that's what I'm doing when I'm looking directly um, down into the build is pressing T so that I can see better since this is such a tight space I didn't really have the space to um, use the camera properly especially because I can't really use the um, the good camera very well you might see that I swap around to it occasionally to place things in like rotate things properly but usually I use this camera because this is how I learned to play The Sims 4 and uh, so that's just what I end up using but we use these little rugs from high school years I think that's the pack that these little rugs come from but I thought they fit really well and the colors fit really well and then we get this little table over here with some books and maybe a lamp or something on it maybe not maybe it's just the books and I think that that's about it for this one. We add some clothes over here and then something above the keyboard, I think, maybe a painting or something. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, a clock. Do we add the clock? Yep, we add this clock. I thought that the pink brought in the pink from the keyboard really nicely and I really liked that. Um, and then here we are cluttering up this nightstand and then I think we move on to the next apartment. 
And like I said, I probably could have put the apartment decora decorating in a different video, but you know, we ended up putting it all in one video and I think that that's okay. And then I do go back and add some pieces of clutter to the other bathroom and then go add toilet paper to every bathroom. Um, but I just wanted each bathroom to have some kind of clutter or color to match the apartment. So we do try to add that in and then I think that it ends up working really well and looking really cute. Um, and then we move on to this apartment, which is for the pop star. Um, I feel like they just really love music and want to be famous. They end up having a kind of little recording area with like a camera and like a backdrop. And I think that maybe that's where they record their um, like performances and maybe videos. Um, I'm not really sure if I gave them a computer or not. I can't remember for the life of me. So I'm not really sure if they can edit their own videos, but maybe they have someone that edits them or maybe they have a laptop that they carry around. I don't remember. I feel like we get a little desk in here, but I really can't remember. I built this a couple weeks ago, so I only have some, some memories of this. Um, I can't remember if we keep this microphone. I hope we do because that makes sense with, you know, Popstar. And then we have some cameras that we end up adding. I think we do get a desk and we add some cameras to the desk also. Maybe not also. Do we move them from here to the desk? Do we get a desk? We're going to find out together if we get a desk because I can't remember. It looks like we're trying to, but does it fit in the end? Because that does not look... Okay, yeah. I knew I moved it because the chair was not going to be functional. What do I put here then? Do I put a chair? So, yep. Oh, that's a good colored chair. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to remember what I did and what I, um, like, order I did things in. But now we are getting, here's their little keyboard laptop, not keyboard laptop tablet laptop they get a bookshelf and then they get um like a guitar i think and then we put a curtain on this wall that kind of looks like this would be their backdrop and then we get a camera and the camera does i do notice in the screenshots that i place the camera backwards so i do fix it in the screenshots but i don't notice it here see it's backwards I do notice it when I'm taking the screenshots and I turn it around. So in the final version, it will be turned around. <laughs> so um, I do notice that I did that. Uh, but we get a mirror and some curtains and then some kitchen decor and probably a rug in the bathroom, maybe a shelf or something. And then we move on to the next one. But here is some more clutter. So what do you guys think about stuff packs coming back? I'm so excited. I've been missing stuff packs. We haven't had a stuff pack, I think, since January 2021, maybe. Um, and that was the paranormal stuff, paranormal stuff pack. So they went out on a bang, but I'm so glad that they're back and I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm really excited about that and I'm really excited to figure out what the next expansion is. I haven't had, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's been any leaks or anything about what it is yet. Um, as of recording this, there has not, um, but I am excited for the home hustle, home chef hustle stuff pack, and I am excited to figure out what the next expansion is, because that's three expansions this year, which is wild. I don't think that's happened in The Sims 4 history. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it has, uh, but I'm really excited about it, and I hope that it's something really cool, and I think that maybe they told us what it is, but I don't remember. Um, I really want bands. I really want like garage bands and like drum set and a bass and like things like that I think would be really, really cool. I don't really care about cars. I'm not going to lie. I'm not one of those like we need cars in the Sims kind of people. I just don't really care. I want them because people want them and I want people to have what they want in the game. But I don't personally um, really want them. Like I don't really care either way. But here we are moving on to this um, apartment, and I think, I can't remember what this person does, but we do get lots of, well, why did lots have an accent? We do get lots of, um, like, black, it's like all black furniture, and then some blue to tie in the blue of the nightstand. That's why the chair is blue. Um, but I'm not really sure off the top of my head what I was thinking for this apartment, like, 
who I was imagining living here. Um, I can't really remember. I know I had an idea for who was living here, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I should have written down the personalities for each apartment because I did not think about it. I think maybe they're like a programmer or a video game designer or um, maybe a writer. I'm not really sure. They have this nice computer and like, you know, they made their desk be the most important like thing here. Like they have a small space so you kind of have to decide, you know, if a couch is more important or a dining table or a desk and they decided that their desk was the most important. So that's why it has like enough space for the big desk. And I know that when I was building it, I had an idea in my head for what kind of sim would be living here. But now looking back on it, I don't remember what I was thinking. Um, and not in like a, I don't know what I was thinking way, but in a like, I don't remember what I was thinking way. Um, and if you're autistic like me, you may not have <laughs> heard. I tried to like inflect a tone in those comparisons, but I don't know if it went over well because I suck at tone, but I tried. <laughs> um, but here we are decorating the kitchen for this apartment and we do move these counter or the cabinets up here also so that they match the lower apartments and then we get a cabinet in here and then I'm adding some decor to this apartment because I forgot. Um, I think we added a rug to the pink apartment and here is their only photo from graduation. They got this photo. Um, but they did go to school and now they are a, I really think they're a programmer. I feel like they're a programmer. Um, and then this is the last apartment and we get this kind of like light purple and light peach kind of color scheme going based off this bed from Snowy Escape actually, um, which is the world that this lot is built in. So, oh, let me tell you a little bit more about this lot. Um, it comes in at 126,696 simoleons because it is a pretty big build um, with lots of apartments and lots of furniture. Um, and it is six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, technically, this lot is, because there's six apartments with a bathroom each, so that's six, and then the convenience store has a bathroom, so that's seven. And it's built on 531 Shinrin Yoku in Mount Kom Komorebi. Uh, so that is the lot that this is built on, if you would like to place it in the same space that I did. And you can find it on my gallery under Auden Row, A-U-D-Y-N-R-O, and you can also usually find all my builds under the has hashtag Auden Row, A-U-D-Y-N-R-O. And I do have a little um, kind of shell challenge going right now. I think it ends sometime this week. I don't remember what I said on the post, but you could find that on my gallery. It's like a tiny house kind of really diagonal kind of nightmare shell challenge. So if you want to try that out, that will be on my gallery. Um, and I hope that you will like it and I will probably make a video on it if I get enough entries. So if you want to see your build in a video that that's where you can go to do that. Um, I haven't even finished my version of it. Um, it is a nightmare shell. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with it. Um, I kind of started and then kind of went, hmm, not really sure what's going on here. So I haven't finished it, but we get a thermostat and a, um, smoke detector in every fire alarm, smoke detector, same thing in, yeah, same thing, um, in every apartment. And then we add some more decor to this one because I forgot to finish that because I got distracted by, I didn't forget. I just got distracted for a second, placing down the, um, necessities and then I go back and finish it and then um, I do realize at some point that I did not decorate a couple of the nightstands and I do that off camera and now we are finishing up the exterior so here's where I kind of struggle to add these towels to kind of look like cloths and like towels <laughs> hanging off of the banisters um, or the railings uh, I really wanted that because it really matched the 
um, inspiration photos, all the inspiration photos I had for tiny Japanese apartments all had these like towels and like clothing hanging off. Um, so I do add that and I think that in the end it looks really pretty. Over here is where we're going to get the gardening plots or the gardening pots or bit things, the like square, the big square ones. Are those pots? I don't know. Uh, we add some bamboo back here. I think it looks really cute. And then we get a clothing line and a table and chairs or a picnic table. I don't remember which. Um, but I thought the clothing line looked really realistic. And then all of this terrain paint that I'm doing does not look like this anymore. I redid it because it all got deleted. Uh, we get like terrain that like leads up to the staircases. And I think that it looks really pretty in the end. You could see it in the thumbnail or you could see it um, in the screenshots if you would like to. Uh, and I do think that it looks better the second time around and makes more sense because I did not have, just like I didn't have railings on the stairs, I didn't have terrain paint up to the stairs, but I do add that in the, um, in the end and in the screenshots that'll be there. We're adding some more of these little bars to kind of make this place a little bit more realistic because, um, these kind of buildings have a lot of like things on them, a lot of details and a lot of um, wooden accents and metal accents and I was trying to add those as best I could with what we have in the game and I think that I succeeded we do get all of these mailboxes and then we get some plants on the porches and some seating like this uh, little couch and then a bunch of seating up here like a couch and a chair and um, some more plants and uh, really decorate it and then I think that this is coming to the end of the build if you are still here, thank you for sticking around for such a long build. I really hope that you like it. I am very proud of it and I worked really hard on it and I just did a lot of research and I really hope that it came out properly and that I got my idea across for these builds and this lot. Um, let me know what you think down below. If you would like to download it, it is on the gallery like I said earlier under Odd and Row and let me know if you use it. Send me screenshots on Twitter. My Twitter is down below or X is down below. It's also Odd and Row. Um, and show me you using it. I would love to see. If you ever use any of my builds, please, please, please send me screenshots over on Twitter or even in my Discord, which you could find the invite for down below also. Um, I would love to see you guys use my builds. That would make me so, so happy because um, I spend so much time every week doing this. Um, I also have a couple other builds already recorded and I have some ideas for new builds and of course the new pack comes out on the 28th, the stuff pack, and I will have some builds for that also. So I'm going to try to get the builds that I have already recorded over the last few weeks um, done and up soon so that um, we're all good to start the new era with the new stuff pack and the new expansion pack that they announced. Um, and I'll try to get all of that up soon. I have a fall factory that I have to finish editing and then I can do the voiceover for that I really, really love and I really hope that you'll like it too. But this is it for this build. I hope that you like it and enjoy it. I love you guys so, so much. I'm so very proud of you. You're doing amazing and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Bye guys. I love you.